Welcome to Peak Life. I'm Amanda Jackson with the Chesapeake Public Library System, and today my guest is Marilyn Lindsay. Marilyn, so we're here today to talk about third annual Black Ink. That's right. Uh, Black Ink is uh, what Chesapeake Public Libraries calls its annual outdoor literature festival. It was designed to bring together um, authors, poets, um, musicians, uh, you know, who created literature for people of color. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's important because it's about representation. That's right. And so we really wanted an opportunity to celebrate our artists of color to be able to make them accessible to our patrons. Yes. So now this is held where? Now this is going to be held at uh, the COIL Center, the Outreach Center, off of Border Road. And what's the date on it? Because we need to get those important things out of the way first. Yes. Now this is going to be in September on the 25th. And it's an all-day event. It's an all-day event. Is well, it all ages? It's for all ages. We have things for children, for tweens, for teens and adults alike. We just want people to just come out, have a good time, bring your lawn chairs, and just enjoy the music and fun. What are the other things that I can expect if I went oh, to Black Ink? Yes, if you came to Black Ink, you could expect to get some food. We're going we're gonna to have food trucks. We're going to have uh, vendors. Um, food vendors, book vendors, retail. Um, there will be activities for the older crowd and for the younger crowd. We're going to have a kids pavilion, um, story times, uh, different activities that they'll be able to engage in. That's so we're super excited about this year's Black Ink. So the other thing, is there a cost associated with There's this? There's no cost at all. Just come on out, like I said, bring a lawn chair, sit on the grass, enjoy the music, sun, and fun. And this is an all-day event. Well, you can you, guests can come in at about, I think it starts at 11 o'clock. Okay. Yes. And enjoy it for the rest of the afternoon. And enjoy it for the what rest of the afternoon. What a great way to spend an yes. afternoon. Especially after we've gotten out of this COVID environment. I know. We haven't been able to interact with people. And now we're going to be able to interact and have fun and I, learn a lot yes, of things. Yes, yes. It's going to be an exciting time. Now, last year's event focused a little bit on things like being your own superhero. So yes. patrons got to make their own superheroes, imagine themselves and the people that they loved as superheroes. Is there anything like hands-on activities that I can expect this year you can tell me about? Uh, hands-on activities, well, we will have panel discussions. We will have um, like volleyball for, well, balloon volleyball for the children. We will also have our sheriff's department there where young people can get uh, their IDs made. Oh, wow. So mm -hmm. it's going to be helpful and inspiring. And, and I inspiring. can ask questions, right? Yes. I can I'll, I'll be able to kind of meet these authors and illustrators. I'll, can I buy their books? Are we going to have those kind Absolutely. of things Absolutely. Like I said, there will be book vendors there as well. And the authors will bring their wares. So it sounds like it's going to be a really great event and one for people who may not have gotten out of the house yet, may not have ventured very far outside of their neighborhoods to really get a chance to do something fun, right? That's right. Yes, we are super excited. Well, thank you for being with me today, Marilyn. Thank you for telling us about the third annual thank Black you, Ink. Amanda. It sounds so awesome. Yes. We hope that you'll join us. Thank you for being with us today. We hope to see you at the Dr. Clarence B. Cuppy Outreach and Innovation Library for Black Ink in September.